And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. the beginning of your story. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. You aren't, are you? All right, to find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere, and only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand, well, we can worry about those later, do you understand? It's been a long time since I'd met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something? The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. Really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again, unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. Ah. 
After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. What do you want, Mum? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Ha-ha! <laughs> like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program, Start the Day Fit and Cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The Crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Wow, when he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Alex. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing was... Talk to the radio? Once again, just click on it. Of course, you can also start your day without our program, Start the Day Fit and Cheerful. Tune in again anytime. Just click on your radio. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? <laughs> Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. This could come in handy. Oh, Jerry! As you've got the basket, could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie? Of course! Oh boy! Pick blackberries, check. I'll take one for later. They're supposed to be good for your eyes, and an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Hmm. 
Hmm, strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long extinct mammal. The Gremlin Wolf. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! Jerry! Yeah, I'll do it. School. <laughs> Dry as a bone. It hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> As usual, the coast is clear. Oh, my secret stash! Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin! Oh! Ah, better not leave it open. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. Some set trash here in the woods. Huh, unbelievable. Uh, I can't count the times I got a splinter trying to climb it. Mum says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. I think there were more of them a couple of years ago. Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here, long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. Mum always says I should be careful not to get lost in the woods. Then I always say, hey, I'm 12, and I know the woods like the back of my hand. Although I must admit, it's pretty spooky in there after sunset. It's so quiet here, like the town is miles away. This stone would make a good picnic table, but unfortunately the pond smells so fishy in the summer that you can't eat anywhere near it. Not even a bite of blackberry pie. I used to fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. Draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. You never know. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Are 
I always used to sit on this rock. Huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. I'll take that. Mum always says I should be careful not to get lost in the woods. Then I always say, hey, I'm 12, and I know the woods like the back of my hand. Although I must admit, it's pretty spooky. I could do this in my sleep. Whoa! Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. The owl's wall. It goes. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I wonder why. Uh, when I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously, since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School. <laughs> Only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Uh... Although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I wonder why. Blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. A stick won't help here. All right, I have no other choice. Ah! No bush can stand between me and mum's blackberry pie. That's fatal mistake.
They look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. They also look like they need picking. Why does a spider have to make its home in my blackberries? Maybe it's planning to lure berry picking adventurers into a trap. Ha! No way. You can't fool Jerry Hazelnut. Good idea. Now it's off. They're screaming to be picked. The owl's wall. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberry blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mom! Yes! I got the blackberries for you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Yay! W wait a sec. Only the first piece. And <laughs> the biggest, Jerry. And so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. Huh? What was that? Something's in there. Whoa, holy cow! Okay, be brave. As long as it's not a gremlin wolf, there's nothing to be afraid of. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. Very careful. What was that? The letter just flew into my pocket. A flying triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's see what's inside. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher. And I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. An excellent place for me to draw with the chalk. I will draw the symbol from the flying letter. There. Huh? Squirrel. How cute. It almost seems like they want to tell me something. And now they're gone again. Hmm. 
Looks like they left something by the mushrooms. How strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I'd better take that. I'd better not scribble on that. Crumbled chalk on rock ledge. An installation by Jerry Hazelman. supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. That's really hard on the arms. Bam! It pulverised the crumbly rock, just like the poem described. Pretty cool. Now I've got fine white chalk powder. Ah, feels good in my hands. I used to fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. It's in. Also in. Yep. Okay, now everything is in. 